Welcome to Coder Station. Hey guys, welcome to Coder Station. In today's video, we will see how to do programming with online compilers. I will also suggest you some compilers which are good to programming in Python and will be helpful for you for practicing Python. Before starting with our today's video, let me give you a quick recap of last video. In last video, we saw how to do programming in Python shell and what is a shell. So shell is an interpreter which has a terminal like UI in which you can code and execute Python commands and it is provided by Python itself. Here is a list of online compilers interpreters, online GDB, programmers, W3 schools and tutorials. Online GDB is a good compiler. It provides you uh, support of large languages like C, C++, Java, C hashtag, C objective, and many more. Programmers. Programmers is also a good compiler for programming, uh, but there are some issues you will face in programmers which you will not face while using online GDB. W3 Schools, it is a best platform for learning and coding simultaneously and Tutorials Point, it is also a nice compiler which you can use for your practice. So now I will show you how to use them. So guys, we will start our coding with online compiler and we will start with online GDB. You will go on your web browser and type online GDB. So here I will select online GDB Python compiler so that it directly loads the Python compiler and I have to not select the languages by going in the language section. Um, you can explore the language section in the later part which supports large number of languages like C, C++, Java, Kotlin, PHP, C hashtag etc. Um, for now, we will start coding with Python in online GDB. It has a written a state, pre-written statement, print hello world. So we will run this statement, and you can see that on this terminal, it has printed hello world. Um, we will try a new thing in the in this compiler that is uh, assigning a variable and data data type, and knowing what type of data type is stored in that variable through print statement. So we will assign a float value to variable a that is uh, for example say 87.05 and we will print we will print the type of variable a is and after this double quotation marks we give a comma and write type. This type keyword it is used to know the type of variable, type sorry, the type of data type stored in the variable. So we will write type and in brackets we will give the name of the variable that is a and run the program. When we run the program, it will give us an output that the type of variable a is class float. Um, if we change this to in and run the program, it will say that class is in. Um, if we give a double quotation mark and type a number, it will say that it is a string. You can see that the class is str, that is none other than string. And if we try to give him a complex number, uh, let us try e5 plus pi j. So it will give a give it is giving us string. Oh sorry, we have to remove these double quotations and let us try this running this. Yeah, it is supporting complex numbers as well. So by type variable you can know what is the data type of a variable. So these are the uses of online GDP. Let us see how is the UI of program is and how you can use it. The thing is that online compilers are good because they are easy to use and you can 
use it for your practice purposes but um, for building applications you will have to use softwares like VS Code uh, because um, the online compilers cannot store much memory and once you exit the browser the code you have written uh, will be vanished so it is suggested that you start practicing in VS Code but um, some of you are, are trying for the first time and may find difficult to do it in VS Code so it is good for you to practice it here practice the concepts here on the compilers which I have shown then you can practice on VS Code VS Code is a good platform for building an application so we have come to program is compiler and here you can see it is a pre-statement written that print hello world we will simply run this statement so here you can see that it is running hello world um, so we will try to print uh, some other things like uh, let us do uh, print the so let us print addition of two variables a is equal to 10, B is equal to 20, and then print A plus B. I know I have taken this program much time and you will be knowing this program, but to, for checking the compiler, it is good. So you, here you can see that the addition is given to me as 30. Let us you know, subtract this code. So the subtraction is minus 10. And let us take modulus of this. It is giving me a mod as a 10. So it is a good for practicing on online compilers. But I will suggest you to go for VS Code for further coding parts. Because uh, in further part we will you know, use packages like SkyPy and then Matplotlib where the graphing uh, graph plots will not be uh, visible on this and you will have to use VS Code for that but for your practice purposes you can use this um, you can try uh, the other compilers shown in that list um, but I will suggest you to use these both compilers because they are user friendly and easy to use thank you for the, uh, watching this video we, I will see you in the next video thank you Thank you.